Um, it's great that uh, our guys found a way to get a win tonight. Uh, you know, Taylor does a great job with his group. They were obviously really, really scrappy tonight. Their length, their athleticism, uh, it, it obviously bothered us. It hurt us uh, uh, in, a, in a lot of different ways. You know, the, the two areas that we really got hurt in, and, and, and obviously we, we didn't do a great job boxing out. Um, Contour had uh, uh, four offensive rebounds. Uh, Jemison had four offensive rebounds, and Laravia had three offensive rebounds. But their 15 offensive rebounds, uh, it's part of uh, – what kept them in the game? They had 23 second chance points, and a lot of it was we, we didn't really hit bodies as well as we could have. And then the second area, uh, obviously, we, we we had some bad turnovers that led to easy baskets for them. But the easy baskets also gave them confidence and kept them in the game when we were about to create a little bit of separation. So, uh, uh, great fight by by Memphis. You take your hat off. Uh, um, to them uh, for the fight that, fight that they showed. But, uh, you know, at the end of the day, we had a lot of different guys step up. I thought uh, Domus was really, really good um, on Jaron Jackson. You know, he's a, an elite player. You're not going to stop him. You just want to make him work for his points. And I thought Domus did. Domus ended up taking a charge tonight. He was our defensive player of the game. It could have easily gone to Keon. Uh, Keon was, was really, really good, too. Um, I think he had five deflections, maybe six deflections. And Desmond, you talk about a tough cover and Desmond Bain uh, with his ability to get to the rim and finish and his ability to shoot the three from range. Uh, Keon was, was was really, really good. Uh, and then, you know, we got solid contributions, obviously, all across the board. I even thought Dorte came in and gave us uh, a little bit of lift um, in the in the 18 minutes that, that, that he played. Um, but at the end of the end of the day, you know, um, uh, having a guy like Malik uh, close the way he did uh, was was a lot of fun to watch. We just put the ball in his hands, and uh, and, and you know, put uh, put uh, put them in pick and roll, and he was able to create a little bit of separation and 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 get to his medium game, and and uh, he was really on point with it tonight. So. Uh, great job uh, closing the home stand. I think we were four and two during this home stand, and you know maybe we could have got one more. Who knows? Just being greedy, uh, but uh, a heck of a job by our guys uh, during this home stand. Mike, first up, do you have any update on Kevin Herter for us? I, uh, I, I don't. I don't. Okay, and what does it mean going forward if he's going to be out long term? Does it look like Keon is going to be the guy, especially after his defensive performance tonight? Yeah, I, again, I don't, I'm not sure how long, Kevin, because I haven't gotten an update yet. But um, you know, obviously, we started Keon in the second half, and and uh, you know, he'll continue to start and, until um, until Kev gets back, and or or we want to go another direction. Mike, in regulation over these last four games, Kings are allowing 101 points per game. Um, we've seen this team capable of doing this in, at, at times before, but for a four-game stretch, first time, I think, since the playoffs, can you share what that means for the progress of the defensive development? Uh, it, it's it's huge, you know, because, like I said, I mean, you guys see it with your own eyes. I mean, we, we have some wide-open shots that just aren't going in, and – I can't make the ball go in. You can't make the ball go in. Even the people shooting it can't make it always go in. And and so you, you have to be able to give yourself a chance by taking care of the ball, you know, keeping them off the offensive glass, doing some of the little things. But you have to defend. And if you are, are capable of defending, you understand it, you embrace it, uh, then you're going to at least give yourself a chance because now you don't have to rely on scoring 120, 130 points every time you you want to get a win and, and knowing that we're still capable of that. So, um, you know, we, we, we say we want to play fast. We ended up with 19 fast break points tonight. Well, we want to be physical. I thought we were physical, uh, except when it came to keeping them off the glass. I thought defensively, you know, Doma stuck his chest out. I thought Keon was really good. I thought we had some pretty good defensive possessions. Uh, and then we want to play together. And I think we had we had 30 assists tonight, you know. So uh, it has to be a part of our, our identity. I think our guys are understanding it. And it's great because it's, it's at the right time that it, that it needs to happen. 
Coach, there was a play where Keegan didn't catch a uh, hit ahead pass and you were visibly frustrated after the fact and ended up pulling him and having a conversation with him. If you don't mind, um, what was kind of the source of that frustration on your end and what that conversation kind of le- went like with him? I'm not sure if I remember that play. Where I, 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 the, and I pulled. <laughs> I would, I would, you saw that? Trying to be nice. But, you saw that? Yeah. Uh, I don't think I. I don't think I took Keegan out. Okay. Uh, yeah, I don't think I took Keegan out. And I don't remember. I, I, I apologize, you know, because I would tell you, but I don't remember. I, I said a lot during this game. <laughs> you know, I don't remember what I said, so I, I apologize. Uh, Mike, uh, you kind of touched on it in your opening remarks, but uh, Duarte, um, the game he had, uh, three for six, two of four from deep. Um, maybe talk a little bit about his professionalism. Obviously, he's kind of been in and out of the rotation, yeah. trying to find his role with the team. Maybe talk a little bit about um, just the role he's able to play, giving you some of those minutes, and uh, just how uh, how impressive that's been from him. He, he's been re- really good, you know, and, and you're right. You know, we played him for 30 seconds, pulled him out. We played him for 20 minutes, pulled him out. Um, but it, he's steadily gotten better. Uh, his professionalism is out of out of his world right now. I mean, it doesn't matter how if he plays, if he plays two minutes, if he plays 20 minutes, he's been great. And uh, he works extremely hard. And, you know, it's great that people are starting to see and recognize how hard he's been working because I, I, prior to tonight, I, I want to say since the All-Star break, he's 10 for 19 from the three-point line, you know, and, and, and he goes two for four tonight. So he's shooting you know, over 50% from the three-point line uh, since the All-Star break. And the shots that he's taken are, are, are really good shots. He's also trying to spray the ball. And, you know, I just love the fact that his attitude is, is in, the right, in the right direction and he's always ready. Uh, he's always been ready when we called his number. Coach, I know we ask you about Domas a lot. You talk about Domas a lot. Uh, tonight, big, nice round number with 50 straight double-doubles for him. Just kind of big picture when you're able to step back and, and think about 50 consecutive double-doubles. What goes into your mind? How is he able to do that? It just, his, so he, he cares a ton. That's the first thing. And, and his effort is, you know, unmatched when it, when it comes to rebounding the basketball especially. I mean, he's, he's getting hit in the head and pushed, and he's trying to deliver blows too. And, you know, for him to have 18 rebounds, just a, a remarkable, remarkable game uh, when it comes to, to rebounding the basketball. But after being around him, and I'm not trying to uh, minimize it, but after being around him and coaching him and watching him, you understand how he can get as many double-doubles as as he has gotten in a row. He's just that type of player. And um, we need every one of those rebounds that he's getting because um, – we're not a big team, and he's a guy that can go get it for us. Coach Brown, uh, speaking of the rebounds, 108 total, 108 uh, rebounds in this one, 59 by the Kings. But you ha- including uh, Sabonis, you have six players that have five or more rebounds. So, uh, how important was that, you know, to uh, clear the glass like that as a as a team effort? It, it, it was pretty good. Uh, I mean, they they had. In this is one of the areas that I didn't think we showed up in all the, all the time, the, the whole game tonight. They had 15 offensive rebounds for 23 second chance points. Uh, and obviously shooting 37% from the floor, there's going to be a lot of opportunity for them to offensive rebound. But I thought we could have done a better job, especially our guards, of putting bodies on bodies. You know, as soon as the shot goes up, we can't turn and look because they're sending two, three, four guys to the glass. It, you you got to check your guy and you got to step to your guy and put a forearm in his chest. And and I didn't think, uh, or especially our guys on the perimeter, did, I don't think we did that enough. You know, we were able to get away with a win tonight, but uh, the way they impacted the glass offensively coupled with, you know, us turning the ball over, is what kept them in the game. So, uh, you know, great job in terms of numbers by some of our guys, but I don't think our box outs were there 
through for 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 throughout most of the game. Thanks everyone. Thank y'all.